Welcome back. We are here looking at the energy market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, April 8, 2022. If you like, if you like our channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and let's get to it. So, we'll start by looking at crude oil, uh, and we can, as you can see, we're trading at uh, 96.94 at this current stage. It did drop all the way down to 93.90 and then found support. So that's also where we had support the last time we fell. But this time we have dropped below the 50 moving average. We also crossed or basically broke below this triangle that we rolled up here. You can see it right there. So yesterday we basically broke below and today we have a full candlestick underneath here as well. So at this current stage, momentum is to the downside, both when you look at these technical indicators, um, you can see the MACD is bearish, the casting is bearish, and so is the RSI. Uh, we may see a rally up towards this line here, roughly 100. And then if that if we get rejected there, then this will most likely drop to towards the 200 moving average or 90 first and then probably to the 200 moving average, which is all the way down at 81. That is a long term, but that is very likely at this point if we get rejected here. However, if we manage to break above this line, then we may go back towards 110, 116, and then all the way to 120. But that is to be seen. At this current stage, the momentum is looking like it's towards the downside. If you look at natural gas, this is a more interesting market with a lot of things happen today. This market went up all the way to 6.19% today. It is absolutely crazy. But it has also gone parabolical and, and moves like these, they will not last. They will basically drop as we can basically see here. When parabolical dropped, when parabolical dropped, same here and so on. So this market, this market tends to move this, this, this. You can also see it here when it got way out of hand and didn't absolutely drop. So it is not the time of year for this to rally. There are certain factors that basically make this go um, this high for example uh, the war in ukraine is uh, definitely a major factor in this uh, price increase in, in natural gas so if we get rejected here because we have basically tested this area before got rejected we were almost here um, uh, basically twice and got rejected both times and therefore i'm kind of expecting this to drop towards the previous highs here, which is roughly 5.588. After that, to the middle of the Bollinger Band, which is 5.3. Then the 50 moving average, 4.8. And then the 200 moving average. And that is probably as far as this will go in the, in the short run. Uh, when this turns around, it usually drops very quickly, as you saw here. This took basically a week in order to get it towards the bottom. So, you just see the dif distance between the bottom and the uh, upper part of the bullish band is quite crazy and that basically is a sign that this is significantly overstretched and will basically uh, break at any point macd is still bullish stochastic is also bullish and rsi is significantly overbought at this current stage so it's going to be interesting tomorrow to see whether or not this managed to break a little bit above which i'm, I'm kind of expecting up towards 6.5 and then just tumble. So, hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and good luck, and thank you very much.